Man, I'm out of quarters. Time to head to Clem Hall to Material Testing Lab. Let's go. Welcome back, everyone, uh, to Material Testing Lab. My name is Brian, and today we're going to be doing the concrete compression test. Now we're going to take our specimen that we allowed to cure for the appropriate time, and we're basically just going to crush it and we're going to record the amount of compression strength that this has. Okay, so we're going to take our one plate and we're going to go put it and center it onto our machine. We're going to take our test specimen and our other plate and put it right on top, like so. Now we're going to want to make sure it's all centered, everything looks right, and we are going to bring it down with our switch right here until it just touches it off using the Partner Procedures Concrete over here. Double click on that, give it a couple seconds to load up. It's a lot like the Tensile test in the beginning, you just kind of have to input the correct numbers, the proper specimen, um, but some of it is different. So right now we're using a 3.00 inch diameter for our test specimen. The material is concrete. Operator, your initials BPM for myself. The batch for this instance is going to be the standard, and the sample is going to be today's date. For this example, is 03-22-2010-001 for our first specimen. Check procedures, and everything looks good to go. So double check your numbers again and hit run test. Now we're going to want to put our switch into neutral, hit pump start, and we're going to be playing with our gauge load rate control gauge here until it gets to about 10,000. You want to make sure that it stays between 8,400 and 21,000. Kind of fluctuating quite a bit that's because the concrete is cracking at different rates and the machine picks that up now we go back we just hit file print and it should come out over at the printer at the far end of the room and make sure that we have all the results that you need and then you're going to do it again with the different test specimens that you have Now you want to report the size, you want to record the maximum load to the nearest 10 pounds, report the type of failure and appearance of the concrete, there's about five different types of fractures that it could have, and you want to calculate the unconfined compression strength of the specimen, and you should have all those numbers from the results that you just printed off. Okay, now that we've conducted the test, we want to make sure that we clean up after ourselves, not make our GA or professor do it help them out a little bit. 